Dear students, now the second part of unit 3, Rickettsia and Spirochaetes is the Rickettsia. The Rickettsia are a diverse collection of obligatory intracellular gram-negative aerobic bacteria. They lack flagella and they are non-motile. They are found in ticks, lice, fleas, mites and mammals. These are larger than viruses and smaller than bacteria in between 300 to 2000 nanometers in length. These are intermediate between bacteria and viruses. They have DNA and RNA in the ratio of 1 is to 3.5. The cell membrane or cell wall is made up of peptidoglycans. They are pleomorphic. They occur singly or in pairs, in chains or in filaments. The reproduction is by cell division. They inhabit in the cells of gut and salivary glands of orthopods which act as vectors and transmit to the human being. No human to human transmission. So you can see the rickettsia into three different groups, typhus fever group, spotted fever group and others. Causative agent in epidemic typhus, this is caused by rickettsia provojaki. Scrub typhus can be transmitted by many species of mites. They grow in different parts of the cell, typhus fever in the cytoplasm and spotted fever in the nucleus. Mode of transmission, they inhabit in the cells of gut and salivary glands of arthropods which act as vectors and then transmit it to the human beings or by inhaling bacteria or inoculating conjunctiva with infectious material may also result in infection. Rickettsial organisms are transmitted by the bite of ectoparasites such as fleas, lice, mites and ticks to the human being. You can see in the diagram how this is transmitted to the human being. These zoonotic pathogens cause infections that disseminate in the blood to many organs. So, infecting many organs, lymph nodes, brain, gallbladder, kidney, skeleton, intestine, heart, eyes, lungs, stomach and spleen. Rickettsia provojaki, there are many Rickettsia species but three of them are very important. First is Rickettsia rickettsi, second is Rickettsia provojaki which is causing the epidemic typhus and third is Rickettsia typhi. It is a cause of zoonotic disease and humans are only the reservoir host. So, Rickettsia provojaki. Rickettsia provojaki causes the epidemic typhus. So, it is prokaryotic organism, parasite on human and it is spread between people via human lice. It is road shaped bacteria that lacks the flagella. It consists of three layers, outer cell wall, middle dense rigid layer an inner cytoplasmic membrane. It is pleomorphic obligate intracellular gram-negative bacterium. Symptoms of epidemic typhus, headache, abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, mild thrombocytopenia, cough, scandry pneumonia, diarrhea, central nervous system affected, seizures and coma etc. Diagnosis, biopsy, of fresh with fluorescent antibody staining to detect organisms, serological testing, IFA, ELISA testing and polymerase chain reaction PCR. Treatment Treat with antibiotics without waiting for diagnostic test results and first line treatment is the tetracyclines. Control and prevention Chemical controlled by using 70% ethanol with other reagents and physical control by moist heating for an hour. Epidemic typhus can be prevented by avoiding human lice, regular bathing, personal hygiene, avoid contact with the animals and use of insecticide is also effective. So, epidemic typhus can be controlled by avoiding human lice. Thanks.